Hi everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about Neil Gaiman's book, Anansi Boys. This is the second Neil Gaiman book that I've ever listened to. The first one was his book on Norse mythology. And I, based on what I read in the publisher summary, I was not at all expecting what I got. I know nothing, or I knew prior to this book, I knew nothing about West African folklore, Caribbean folklore, so I didn't know that Anansi is a part of their folklore, that the, the spider god is a part of their folklore. I was expecting this to be more of a an action, um, high drama, intrigue kind of a book. I don't know why, but I was. It's not that way at all. The, this It's an awesome book. I love it love the book this this went into into the tops of my favorite books um and nancy's in in west african folklore and caribbean folklore and nancy is their trickster god it's it's amazing to me greek mythology norse mythology uh, west african and and caribbean you know mythology or folklore how many similarities their gods have you through the book and through the story you get to learn a lot about West African and Caribbean mythology he actually will intersperse stories of Anansi that I'm assuming are true folklore stories into the book so you not only have this modern book incorporating their folklore and different characters from their folklore but it also revisits sorry I'm on break at work right now someone's driving by there it also revisits some of the original stories and retells some of the original stories so you get to learn and and just like with the Norse with the Greeks their gods are very human they're they're very fallible it, it's being raised um, in, in Western culture and, and in the Christian church, I, I'm used to a God that is, is more of a father figure. The, these are less of a father figure and, and more out for themselves in their own entertainment. They're not someone that you, you know, you go to on a daily basis expecting them to do what's best for you. They're going to do what's best for them. The, the book is hugely entertaining. A laugh out loud funny at some points. It does have action. It does have drama. It does have romance. But it's all done in this way that just leaves you feeling good. Leaves you happy. You listen to this book and even if you start out listening to the book in kind of a bummer mood. The beginning of the book. You start off listening in kind of a bummer mood. The beginning of the book will take you further down the trail toward being bummed out. But then it quickly does a 180 and from there on out the rest of the book just makes you feel good. I mean, I'm I'm grinning now that I'm done. Love, love, love the narrator. He does such an amazing job. He not only does voices, he does multiple accents. He does an absolutely wonderful job. This book is definitely going into my highly recommended list. I the now it sticks to the folklore and there's a strong um sexual component to it. Nothing nothing that I considered graphic or pornographic. Um some of the the violence can be a little bit graphic as well. So for me, this is not a book that I would listen to around kids or children. Um, teenagers, I, I don't think it would be a problem around teenagers, but that that's for me. So any comments, any feedback, please get back to me. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And I hope wherever you are, you're getting a beautiful, sunny day and enjoying yourself like I am. Thank you.